welcome back to the channel we are in our 2020 c8 corvette z51 that is upgraded with our prototype hennessy twin turbo package and uh you've probably seen the dyno video we've done a little bit of a walk around now we're out at, the, at our racetrack we're not going to run any numbers today uh, i'm just going to get a quick driving impression so car starts up idles got cold ac uh, i've got a few check engine lights on the dash certainly one of them is coming from the fact that we disconnected the front wheel sensors for the dyno um, but we'll deal with all that once we were able to get tuning and con to, uh, calibrate the computer but for right now the car makes power it runs and drives it sounds great it feels really good and it sounds really cool so i'm just going to go drive it we're just going to put it in normal drive mode we are in sport mode and uh here we go still feels like it has the same really excellent drivability from the factory uh, some people wondering how much power the transmission can handle the answer to that question nobody nobody really knows but that's what we do we buy these cars we add horsepower to them and we try to make a determination you know how much can it how much can it handle how far can we push it and we're certainly going to be upgrading the transmission at the appropriate time too so we'll talk more about that later so i'm just going to roll into it here and see what she does Kit and just the feeling of, of power, this is like a completely different car. Uh, look, the, the stock C8 is no slouch. Uh, it's very quick, and you'd only feel like you only feel like you're for me with a reference point of higher horsepower cars. The C8 to me feels like it's starting to run out of power when you get it upwards of I don't know 110 and above. But we'll give it a cool down lap here and make another hit and see what happens. So here we're going to roll into it at about 3,000 RPM. Wow. That feels every bit of 640 wheel. I mean, it's making almost 200 horsepower at the wheels more than stock. This is an awesome car. These things are going to be so fast. Let's see, and let's probably able to put the built motor and a tune and a little bit more, more boost i mean pump gas i think we'll be able to make a thousand horsepower you know eight eight twenty to the wheels maybe 850 pump gas this thing's gonna be ridiculous these things will run probably high nines 140 miles an hour and it's a car anybody can aspire to own anybody can at some point work hard enough save their money and buy and own a c8 stock and certainly modify it and it's such a nice car. It's such a comfortable car. I drove my 600LT McLaren uh, from the house to work this morning. And I love that car. It's super fast. It's lighter. It's making, I don't know, it's making 650 to the wheels. It's just not as comfortable as a, of a car as I see it is. Anyway, that's my story. We're going to go out and drive it on the road um, here in a minute. And uh, we'll see you there. Thanks. Right, guys here we are getting on i-10 going past our shop which is just west of houston outside of the little town of sealy texas and we're just going to cruise on down the road again there's everything that's great about the c8 remains intact it's super comfortable it's a little windy today windy and hot but here we are just cruising down the highway and ac blowing cold if I just start squeezing into the power a little bit, feel the boost come in, feel that torque. You don't have to like floor it. You get wide open all the time to have fun with it. It's going to squeeze into the power. cylinder deactivation so it gets really good fuel economy so when me and my daughter drove back from Detroit to Houston I mean, we clipped along at a pretty good pace 
and still we could go over 400 miles on a tank, which is pretty impressive. So. It's windy as a you know what today. I've kind of clicked back and forth a few times between manual and automatic. It drives real nice either way. Okay, let's see. Stop it when you can drive this.